I still didn't make the whole sense about this stuff about Mostar and so in this video I am gonna finish uh, Croatian psychiatry for good. The Croatian psychiatry did not go only in Mostar, in Bosnian part of where Croats populate, in Bosnia. It's a Mostar area, but of course it went through the whole Croatia. Uh, every psychiatric hospital in Croatia and every private office, not every, but quite a few private offices also, were involved in this. So uh, definitely every psychiatric hospital in Bosnia and every psychiatric hospital in Serbia. So, but we are talking about Croatia today. We are talking about the Mostar region in Bosnia, a region populated highly with a Croats uh, in a Muslim part of the Bosnia. Uh, Mostly, mostly Croatian, mostly Croat part of Bosnia. That's what we are talking about today. So, to make sense out of these two videos, I'm going to put it this way. Again, I don't even know where the hell I would, I would start with this stuff, but these guys here, did you see them happy, laughing, In this business, when I say laughing, then I have to make the sense out of it. Literally, you have to see it. Because they're really good at saying it's in his head. That's the way it goes here with these people. Uh, it's so that they know the damage they have done. You know, they suggested that during MK Ultra they interacted with me like it was like for a friendly relationship. Like they even suggested it's not like your psychiatric hospital, Ljubljana, Polia. They were making like Sprdovania, you know, like um, no. It's not supposed to be that way. You shouldn't be in a ho psychiatric hospital anyways. In that sense, you know. The thing about it is that um, they knew that this would produce extremely violent reaction in me. They knew that what they were doing was used to deprive one completely of the sanity. And that's how they were making it. their dollars, their British pounds. Uh, that's how they were making their living, their money. And that's what is new about a new Croatia. Um, this psychiatric hospital right here that you see in Mostar, this psychiatric hospital where they have a closed departments, um, they locked me inside of this psychiatric hospital probably since 1990, 1991 for sure. It would be whatever they would have, whatever 
it will be going on they would lock me inside of the psychiatric hospital they cosmetically revamped this psychiatric hospital <laughs> I remember uh, I don't know when they did this stuff maybe they did this stuff I don't know it's written but I'm not gonna go over that stuff because it's none of my business really I remember them begging for uh, for extra money to build extra departments uh, to modernize them and stuff like this that's what they were that's why they were locking me inside of the psychiatric hospital hospitals this is what this was all about they needed money they need resource finance somebody finance donors um, corruption all kinds of issues went on so this probably was revamped I have no idea when was this revamped. I something is telling me that this this was done. I don't know, in two thousand and two. But this was not the only psychiatric hospital. I I maybe maybe I would say like in two thousand two. I don't know. could be maybe even later I don't know I'm not gonna go into it right now I'm not gonna go into it because this is a video about totally other issues they don't concern the identifying people and do not concern identifying hospitals or whatever I can tell you that they had me locked inside of this psychiatric hospital on a lower floor I think it was a lower floor um, probably a, I don't even know reception no they had me through more they also had me on a on a second and third floor or something like that they would also take me the point about this stuff here is that psychiatrists inside of the psychiatric hospital knew and this this is a big psychiatric hospital even if everybody employed there would be a SERP in a part of the Bosnia where there are Croats uh, there will be some cleaner or somebody that would still knew see me whatever uh, these people knew very 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 well that they were taking me to the university hospital they knew and they knew exactly what for because I remember them saying to this hospital here I remember them saying that for you is probably too late I remember this I will not I will not forget this they were taking me to this to this hospital with their knowledge from the psychiatric hospital that, that I demonstrated you they were taking me to this hospital it's called University Clinical Hospital that's where they were taking me to oh but totally totally with their knowledge because I remember them saying for you is already probably too late you know um, it probably was too late because Borut Pahor negotiated with Dodik this issue Borut Pahor negotiated with the Dodik this issue he claimed to the Dodik that I was already according to analysis according to the medical data already a dead man walking in 2010 I will not make it through this ordeal but it was Dodik who wanted to and possibly Borut Pahor if there is any difference is there like difference between Milorad Dodik and Borut Pahor in my case there is none so the difference here is none between the two individuals there is no difference 
So, the Miller at Dodic could complete the job. It was Borut Pahor who assisted one best to his abilities. The way so they would be the way Miller at Dodic wanted to have this stuff done here, you know, in Mostar. It's difficult to tell. It's very difficult to tell because this is Mostar. It's populated with the Croats. And um, the thing about it is that they. They knew all about where I was taken to from here and then delivered back. This is the stay in Mostar. Also the stay in Mostar. This is also what the stay in Mostar looked like. Well, they knew all about it. No, I didn't want to have nothing to do with it. This department, I think, this, whatever you see here, whatever was done here, was done like I think like in 90, 98, 99, something like that. What you see here, I know because I protested against investing any kind of money in these people. So I know these people hated me. The Croats, they fucking hated me and they believed they had the right to hijack me. They believed they had the right to do with me whatever they were pleased. If this stuff was not done in 98, uh, 99, uh, it might have been actually even in 2002, whatever. Uh, the issue I'm talking about was is real. It was a fight, financial fight. It was a Slovenian delegation. I had a fight with them repeatedly. I didn't want any kind of money wasted here. It was absolutely no to investments to stuff here. And so these people, I'm not going to say they had a reason to hate me. These people have the reason not to exist. It's plain and simple. The thing is that through the so-called through the so-called MK Ultra procedure. They invented the way to kill, to murder persecuted, persecuted political, politically persecuted people through the laws of their own. They invented the way for the law not to apply. To the politically persecuted people. That's one way to put it. Then they invented the way of their own morals based on which politically persecuted people should be judged upon and have therefore avoided uh, international treaties do not apply to them Laws do not apply to them. Uh, UN does not apply to them. Uh, no laws apply to them. They live in a world of their own. And they do the stuff whichever way they want. They, these are really inventors. This is a Balkans here. They invented the way to interpret the law. They invented the way to interpret it for themselves the way they wanted things uh, to be even acceptable. As. That's how they wanted international community to see themselves in this. That was the reason. That was the main reason. Yeah? So, sure, these people didn't like me. I didn't like them. I didn't want to have nothing to do with them. I had no benefit from Croatia, Bosnia, whatever. I had a lot of problems, more and more problems. I had no reason to like these people in any way.
under MK Ultra circumstances? Absolutely not. And I doubt there will be any Croats or Bosnians that during the torture they would go and embrace the funds for their hospitals and stuff like this where they are tortured and so on and so forth. Yeah, but this they all, always had premise, uh, I don't even know how I would say this, admixture of a specific uh, type of lunacy involving it, which demanded from me to embrace their violence, their Balkan violence, their Bosnian-Croatian violence in this case. Literally through the psychiatry, like they hallucinated in my face, they could save me and so on. So, can you imagine this stuff? Can you fucking imagine this stuff? This is the country that suffered war with Bosnia too, and they go down to the level like this towards somebody who benefited them, towards somebody who supported them. In other words, they determined that I am mentally ill and it will not make any difference anyways. So a NATO in the European Union in eyes of the Bosniaks and Croats are all mentally ill. We are all mentally ill. Laws are mentally ill unless they apply their needs. Unless you serve them, you're mentally ill. You're sick. To put it plain and simple, they are above all. There is no laws, there is no international treaties, there is no police, there is nothing. There is no code of ethics, anything like this that apply to whatever, to the workers, to their workers inside of the psychiatry, whatever. They are over above all, über alles. That's it. Croata, Bosnia, that's it. Über alles, that's it. That's all there is to it. And you are to be used for them to clean the shoes against your collar, basically. Or swipe the shoes against your collar. That's all there is to it. They knew I was taken to this modern hospital, as they refer to one as, and I participated when they built this hospital. I This is a new hospital, this hospital. I will not forget, again, Bord Pahor, Slovenian, uh, Golovic, Gregor Golovic, uh, Milan Kuchko, all this, they'll come in here and they, you know, rega, rega, quack, quack. Uh, interesting. Again, you have people from SD, from uh, ex-communists, if you like, jiggling Slovenian taxpayers' money and others watching from afar, taking initiative in this Croatian part of Bosnia in, with investments pouring into this health system. This was a newer hospital. I don't fucking know, man. They started to build this I, I don't want to go over now and start calculate these things because it's a great effort that it takes. And I definitely don't cheat. I don't do that. I don't do. This is why I am successful. I'm successful because I do absolutely everything according to my memory. Cheating here does not pay off. Yes, it's no different than meeting people on the street 
you have nowhere to cheat from. This was, I think, the last hospital they built. A big success that I supposed to identify and ad identify and this and that. The last project was this hospital here. Um, Something that I am not even sure about. And I say that I'm not even sure about because the Serbs, Karadzic and Milosevic and Oh, this Serbian elite had me at some kind of other hospital which they completed, I think, sometimes like in 89, 90 or something like that. So, I am gonna, I'm not gonna say anything in respect to this hospital because I would have to see more or less this hospital looks the same. And there are many hospitals throughout ex Yugoslavia. That was still Yugoslavia in 89 and 88. Um, something is even telling me different when it comes to this hospital. So I do have to be very careful with this stuff. Školč, Golobic, Pahor. These birds were already involved since my childhood. So don't be surprised about the stuff, timing, the way I talk about when it comes to these issues. Maybe even 88, 89, together with the Karadzic, that I would go and see this. He was into this stuff, identifying locations and so on also. Yeah. Identifying location and with the knife from behind. Style. Uh, still, this is a young hospital if it was done in 88 or whatever. Um, it might have been, uh, the case might have been that what they did was they remodeled one or something like that, you know, renovated one, I don't know, painted over one or whatever the fuck they did, uh, so that would uh, cosmetically look more appealing something like this they might have done or whatever um, at the later time when I say the later time I'm thinking about the later time it's a trouble also when they go and they present you over and over the same shit A lot of renovation and that kind of stuff went on. I'm not going to get into it. Okay, so my vote for this hospital would actually even go to when I was in a, you know, I would even go and say 88, something like this. You know, I'm just saying. Um, the Croats, the Croats knew that I was taken to this hospital here. You, there was a fight, uh, actually even arguments that broke out between Slovenian side and between American side uh, about the cancer issues pertaining to my case. Um, and the two sides argue with the American side argued that you need medications for that stuff uh, and Slovenian side which argued that no you don't need no medications uh, all you need to do is you need to walk a lot you need to move yourself a lot and you can survive the cancer 
uh, with of course what I was recommended garlic <clears throat> onions and stuff like this is a form of medication <clears throat> used to suppress cancer issues yes there they did play with the cancer but the main <clears throat> the main accent in my case on a health problems the way they have designed was to create autoimmune type of inflammatory diseases um, the last issue they developed in me and it's the way Charles wanted that to be done was uh, in they got a positive results about it in 2017 2016 it started and they continue to do this 2017 uh, 2018 it was really pleased Charles was really really pleased with was with what they claimed me was also tumor inside of my head that was the last thing that he wanted they got positive about creating a tumor in my head also uh, but these tumors just like everything else in my case <clears throat> uh, they can only become activated if you like under the certain circumstances so it's what I am saying is they played with the autoimmune inflammatory diseases problems specifically they would create a tumorous locations throughout the body I just move my teeth here and what they would want to do is to create as powerfully as powerful as possible sense about those inflammatory dots locations tumorous locations uh, they is the reason why they play also with the teeth and so on so they would create entire world of this madness they instilled in me during the so-called MK Ultra this is this is what they call the MK Ultra uh, and the way to do this inflammatory locations tumors is by other causing through the physical harm as they did with my left foot uh, stabbing injections and or through the poisoning and making person do certain moves use them to repeatedly use them to revive those locations which they will create a permanent a chronic type of inflammation you know and it was calculated for the Poland that when I would go to Poland let me let me demonstrate you a little bit more about what exactly do I mean by this so inflammatory diseases is go uh, to about something like this even cardiovascular uh, diabetes Uh, the way this works, the way this operates, I learned this stuff from my own body as they were doing this kind of stuff. Is exactly about what I explained to you. Um, causing an injury and then reviving that injury, mostly physically, till it becomes permanent and it responds to inflammation, to uh, to the food that you consume now while using certain foods to excessive degree so also the body would reject them in other words that the that the food that would otherwise be helpful to the certain inflammation to the certain uh, injury uh, would also respond in a negative way to this injury you know, so basically in excessive way you know uh, creating ulcer uh, cancer on on intestines this was a big thing etc etc stuff i have talked about to you
This is the way, yeah. The clothing and the color of the clothing. For the color of the clothing, I'm going to say, they told me that absolutely every shirt I have that I'm going to sleep in must be decolorized. The police investigator who met me in 2022 demanded from me even he told me that the shirt that you put under the new shirt or whatever you're going to be using should have a clip to make sure that the shirt you're going to be using at the top of it is not going to go over and touch your skin. He had a good reason to say this. He had a good reason to say this. So this is this is this is what this is what they were playing with. This is deadly, by the way. This stuff is deadly. Now, if you if you cause a greater injury also to the stomach, uh, liver, kidney, uh, that much of a graver um, circumstances, this person to whom you have created. Uh, this type of tumorous locations throughout the body is going to have to deal with. Now you understand absolutely everything about what they were doing. They were playing also with lymphoma cancer and I think I got away with it for just like this. With this backpack walking distance and the stairways that they were rehearsing during MK Ultra. It could easily cost me life. But I realized on time, and that too, I probably managed to avoid the worst, at least for now. It was very bad. Uh, so this is, this is the stuff they were playing with during MK Ultra. Um, there is absolutely no way that Croats in, in this hospital here that I demonstrated you, that uh, not in this hospital, this is where they did this kind of stuff, I told you, that they would give me intraven or whatever they were giving me, and they continued to take blood samples from me, and checking about what went on, and so on. Um, Absolutely, there is no doubt they knew about what went on here. And this is what I told you was related to a Milorad Dodik. Why would the Milorad Dodik do something like this? Uh, Mostar is a neighbor town. Mostar is a neighbor town from from this city here, from this, from this city here, this is, this is a Nevesinje. Uh, Nevesinje was uh, notorious Serbian, this is what the Slovenian police would deliver me, always they would deliver me for torture here. This is where the violence was the biggest, with the novel mess of police investigators involved in one. And this violence went for a very, very long time. And then a Slovenian novomesto investigators figure out that they'll just have to do something about it. This is where I would be met with the Karadzic, with the Milosevic, with uh, uh, Radic, with uh, Milorad Dodik was a schoolboy. compared to the people they would meet me at this place. This place did not start in 2000 or 98 or whatever. This place here, this location here, was location during the war in Bosnia and Herzegovina where I would be delivered to. This place, I don't know about what went on. I have to think about it. I think there was even, I'm not actually, I'm not sure about, uh, occupied by the Croats, I'm not sure, I think they even made it inside, and it was like extremely, extremely worried, the Serbs, 
this city here. This is where I would be meeting Radic, Milosevic, Karadzic, all the top Chetniks together with the Novomesto police. And they figure out they're going to do something about it. They're going to do something with the Serbs. Slovenian side figure out they're going to do something about it. And do something about it was this here. This was Mostar. For me, however, it doesn't help me anything. For me, it doesn't help me anything. And based, it doesn't help me anything. I mean, it, 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 the Croats didn't do me a favor. Have they done a favor? They knew about where I was taken to. The crime took place in Mostar. And finally, because of this kind of conscience, and what I foremost have on my mind is this location here. No, 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 no. This here. This. Finally, when I consider this kind of stuff, um, see, I think this goes even further down. You know. Third grade, fourth grade. My goodness, I think they did this stuff. They negotiated this stuff in 91, 92, something like that, I think. Actually, even in 88, this is how far the fuck this goes. And they paid to get this stuff fixed. It was like a success and stuff like this. They they posed me with. So this is this is a little bit difficult because so many times and so many um, I think 88 when I finished uh, the school for maintenance mechanic uh, that they were really excited about this here that you see um, yeah these people did not like me at all okay they didn't like me even a little bit to put it plain and simple um, you know this is what you call disease that's a mental illness. Mental illness is when you have a society totally, totally uh, not disillusioned, but deliberately out of touch with the reality. There is no difference between a schizophrenia, uh, somebody imagining something, and somebody deliberately being out of touch with reality. In my eyes, not. He goes into the criminal area. These people were deliberately out of touch with reality. These people deliberately dismissed the existence of police. You know, you can say, well, you know, the police are, you know, it's the police that did not allow. But, you know, the police can also say, what the fuck are we going to do when the people didn't want to report this? We went out there and we investigated, we tried to investigate, we, we met with the people, but the people would not report us anything and they even declined to, uh, you know, to engage with us. And this is a community. Did you do understand me what I'm saying? That's why, that's why a Kolpa River for me even became ugly. Kolpa is the southern river in Slovenia, supposedly the cleanest river in Slovenia, maybe, or something like that. I don't know. They bragged about that stuff. It looks to me like a piss. Croatia has a, such a beautiful shoreline along the Adriatic Sea, but I never went to Croatia, and I was looking forward to. The thing is, I don't feel like I want to go anymore there. Past this uh, Kolpa River, even to the Kolpa River, I'm not excited about going to see one. It looks to me really like a piss, for obvious reasons. Now, this, this people had the ability, a much greater ability to do something about it than Slovenian side. But it, it doesn't matter, maybe it was the money that was more important. Uh, people from around the world, oh, money, money, yeah, money, yeah, yeah, okay, money. 
Yeah, money, but, you know, this is money here. This is a money here. This is a money. This. This is a money. This is your money. Your money is right here. Yeah, and I'm going to say fuck your money. Fuck you and fuck your money. Your money. Don't come to Novo Mesto Police ever again. You, uh, you had uh, Croatian uh, politicians or, and it doesn't matter, maybe a Novo Mesto Police orchestrated shit. Uh, the last time I was at the police station, they posed to me with a lady by the name Milanovic. Zoran Milanovic, this is a president of Croatia. During MK Ultra is supposed to be this supposed to be this guy and another one, Plenkovic. They would come to the novel mess to police and that they 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 talk and that they will fix it and this and that. Don't come here. You don't fix anything here. You already fixed my life good. It was not Mostar Psychiatric Hospital, it was Zagreb, it was whatever that, Rijeka, whatever, um, Zadar, Dubrovnik, whatever you had, I mean, all these hospitals, in psychiatric hospitals. You don't, you didn't resolve anything, and I am 52 years old. I, in December, I will be 53 you have no reason really to interfere in any of this stuff you're not welcome to interfere into anything anymore the politicians i don't want to see any politicians coming to me you don't fucking come here unless you want to get the fist between your teeth to make myself clear, you're a politician, don't come anywhere near me because I'm going to unload on you like you have never seen in your lifetime with everything I have. Don't come near me. You're not welcome here. So now, whether it was a Milorad Dodik or it was Croats that played a Milorad Dodik in Mostar. It makes no fucking difference in me. That's why I stated in a part number two of the video that I posted earlier. Right here I posted in this part here. That Croatia is not worth that shit. Because there is nothing to Croatia. There is to Croatia as much as there is to the parcels about which they are talking these days when it comes to Janez Janša. Just as much. Just exactly that much. That's to Croatia. Croatia, in my case, is as much as talk about the parcels over there that Janes Janša is pulling out about injustice against him. This is what I had out of Slovenia. Out of Slovenia, that's all there was. And out of Croatia, this is all there was. We have this kind of talks. This is what we have going on. This is what we, this is what people in Slovenia went to vote for. Yeah, it's safe to say that people in Slovenia voted for extermination procedure against me. There is no doubt about it. I am not defending Slovenia in absolutely any way. 
I don't even consider myself as a Slovenian. I'm disgusted with this stuff here. If the same thing would have happened again, I would have done exactly the same thing I have done it. I'm really proud about myself. But are these two countries legitimate countries? Yeah. Just as much as Serbia is legitimate, I should say Serbia is using Croatia and Slovenia to accomplish the same thing as Janez Janša, uh, Igor Baucar, Loise Petrle have accomplished for the Serbs, for the Russians in respect to ethnic cleansing against me. And so if it's, a, if it's about ethnic cleansing against people like myself, then I don't know why these countries would even exist. What would exactly be the purpose of these countries? Then as well as mine, fucking remove the borders. They, these countries do exist. Slovenia and Croatia exist for the purposes of ethnic cleansing. Against those of us, I don't think I'm the only person who revolted against Serbian extermination, Russian extermination, where I was born, or where we were born. That's what they exist. This is what their purpose is. So if you ask me if they have a purpose, yeah, they have a purpose, like I stated to you. Really none. But this is the purpose I will continue to see in, in Slovenia and in Croatia. I, I will not go past this purpose. Viewing this as a purpose. So it doesn't matter who did this stuff. The Croats knew all about it. Croats learned about Slovenian escapades to the to the to this Serbian enclave here Nevesinje where I was given <laughs> thousand death threats this is the place during the war during the Balkan war where the Serbs were more calm they didn't mount it too much unless it was the Serbian leadership that would come Radic Karadzic, Milosevic, if they would come for a visit, which they did, and it's where they would meet me with the Slovenian police. The priest, everybody was from this Nevesinia was, they claimed this was the city where they would kill you. This is where we kill you. They were quiet for about first two years of the Balkan War. Then they gained more and more and more conscience and they became really, really defiant. Then they started to boil. First, the Serbs here were afraid, scared. Then they become defiant. This is the way it was. Um, I don't think that Croats went into Nevesinia based on my memory right now as I go through. I think they had some kind of pact. And they were suggested that the Croats can come there at just about any time if they want. If they would bully, if they would challenge. This is the way it was during the Balkan War in Bosnia. When I fucking say to you, Karadzic, Milosevic and all this. Yeah, I'm not fucking kidding. Dodik was a nobody really. It was a baby compared to the people I'm talking about. And so this is what this is how Bosnian Croatian side Croats Zagreb assisted Milorad Dodik definitely they did Borat Pahor because the result is the same no you get killed by by uh, what is the difference if you get killed by the Serbs or by the Croats or by the Slovenian that brings you over there is like a difference not to my knowledge to my knowledge is not the difference there is one more important issue i'm going to stress borat power have stated me based on the death promises i was given for what was suggested it was a croatian side or bosnian maybe even muslim side i don't know 
He stated to me, he will get the word, literally. Some kind of a word in this muster, if it proves that If it proves that I would be killed. These are the words of Borod Pahar to me. Uh, this is a Slovenian president uh, and Mostar. This is the only thing I want to say in respect to uh, Mostar, Croatia. Croatia had uh, some kind of shooting again in uh, at Daruvar, Bielovar. Darovar, Bielovar. Uh, this is the same shit. Darovar, Bielovar. I was always looking forward to Darovar, Bielovar. Uh, because of this Czech minority over there I liked. Where the fuck is this? Uh, this uh, Pokorny. Pokorny is both of them are from Bielovar Darovar area. There were quite a few people from Bielovar and Darovar. This is a Czech minority in Croatia. The Czechs. Czechs uh, made it. Where is the Czech Republic? Here. This is a Czeski. Czeski, they made it all the way to the Croatia long time ago and became minority in Croatia all the way down during the Austro-Hungarian Empire they settled in Croatia and they established Bielovar in Darovar and they have a minority over there basically Croats and um what the fuck eh? 60 kilometer it was like 50 kilometer earlier 51 kilometer ever what the hell? What are they doing? Eh? Sixty, whatever, doesn't matter. Um, half an hour with a car. Uh, no, actually, no, no, fuck no. It's more. They told me to be really careful with this too. One hour, actually. They insisted one hour. Uh, I understand six people were killed uh, in in a, in a Croatia by also individual that was involved in MK Ultra and who already made a promise. I don't know, man. Sometimes in. Two thousand and twelve made a promise that he would go on a rampage, made an agreement with the also with the local police. Darwar they knew about it. Um they talked to him about it, they they claimed they'd come him down, whatever. Uh but it became apparent that this will take place, this event, because of um too many people in a bad social circumstances that there is a lot of in uh, this private home this this uh, where this shooting took place where they had me repeatedly over there um, there was too many people willing to go inside and being taken care of that there was they a lot of people lined up they they wanted to be inside of that home uh, and I don't know, maybe it's too expensive for the Croatian authorities, a government to maintain people. Um, you know, how can I say? Maybe this is what it is. I have no idea what it is. Um, I don't know what, I don't know exactly what, what the problem is here with this stuff here. Um, I was told in 
what I suggested right now that they are going to be doing stuff like this because it's too many people. This was a police coordinated attack. And so, what the fuck can I say? I mean, when I consider about the stuff I have gone through, and when I consider about Croatian state. You can see it here, what the Croatian state is all about. I mean, this is cheaper. They continue to cut costs. They continue to cut money, save money. Uh, I guess it is, is financially, they're very um, oriented toward financial efficiency and um, they can do better. They, they, they figure out a way to do it different. It's more cost effective, it's, I guess. Or maybe they are doing this kind of stuff to uh, rationalize um, their, with, with, with what I refer to as Slovenia and Croatia is uh, bandit capitalism. Uh, they're, they're using a bandit capitalism to excuse a previous bandit communism you know giving us all a lesson why it was better in Yugoslavia uh, so they found a way to substitute laws international treaties and everything with you know some other uh, forms of governing um, why would you you know United Nations and all this stuff and um, peace treaties and uh, um, police laws they have also laws in Bosnia they have laws in Bosnia and Croatia they have laws over there too they have some kind of constitution and stuff like this and, well why would you fuck why would you bother with that stuff and also with Croatia became European Union member state Oh, why would you fuck with with these issues in Strasbourg in in Brussels if you if you find a way around that you know and you can have it your way with basically even getting a support from European Union you know no I'm gonna say European Union is really really flexible it was really really flexible in my case they really did go the extra mile in crime against me on behalf of London uh, in behalf of British royals, um, but I doubt that this is going to pay them off. Actually, to European Union, probably it will, because, like I said, the Colpa River even now looks to me like a piss. And they did talk about some kind of large amounts of money and stuff like that, so they probably were right. I don't have anything else to say. Uh, I think that difference between the Dodic and between uh, actually between the Serbs and the Croats, there is really in my case there is none if this is what's going to help them. Um, too little for me to consider uh, past Kolpa River. You know, we, we grew a little bit more strangers to one another uh, with these acts of violence, they, which are not about to resolve in any, about any time. And as soon as possible, I will trigger, complain against Croatia, wherever the fuck I can, just as against Slovenia. We just grew a little bit more strangers, uh, is what I'm trying to say. It was Yugoslavia that did not work out at all. And then it was this independent list of the countries in which this so-called ex-communists 
figure out that they're going to be using a bandit capitalism to excuse previous bandit. It's not communism. We, did, we didn't have a communism. It was a socialism. They called it a socialism. It was some kind of a mixture of the capitalism with the communism. It was not hot. It was not cold. It was not in the middle. The whole thing was ethnic cleansing. It was all based on ethnic cleansing. Uh, in which agenda obviously did not change even a little bit. Uh, they continue to champion their szyzenie, as it is in Polish language, is szyzenie. Uh, szyzenie is basically when you destroy individual absolutely everything. Uh, and you use frustration to compel one, to rape one into a mentality, into a surviving mode, into something that he is using to resort himself to, uh, so that he doesn't fall apart completely. You know, because you take away from him absolutely everything and he doesn't have nothing to live for because you destroy him everything whatever he gets in his hands anyways you know what i mean and then the person grows up and then you start to fuck with his employment and then you even list on the picture the psychiatry and stuff like this it's different from childhood, and so his life turns around about forced unemployment, psychiatry, gaslighting with the ambulance vehicle, police vehicle, and so on, stuff like that. You know? So, you understand me. You understand what I'm trying to say, what I'm saying. Something I didn't mention. Um, still... Uh, Imagination, fantasy, in under the circumstances that you find, you might find yourself like I did, just as I described, where everything is destroyed to you. Are tools used, a must tools used for you to survive. You have to believe in yourself. You have to believe in something, and you have to believe in yourself. And you have to keep marching on. And on your way as you march, you have to kick them all over the place. Humiliate them. And destroy them wherever you can. Honor, dignity and pride are priceless. Never allow scum to deprive you of your purpose to this world. They can do the genocide, they can do everything, but you must never ever allow them that you had no purpose to this world. This is what Croatia is, this is what Slovenia are. Yeah, and don't fucking meddle t with me. Don't meddle with me at the Novo Mesto police. There was something that either Novo Mesto orchestrated or they had Plenkovic and Milanovic also the police station and other Croatian politicians and stuff like this that they came uh, to intervene here to see things as and so on. Don't don't get into my business. As a Croatian politician, as a matter of fact, don't come anywhere near me. So that you're not going to get the fist between your teeth. You had... 53 years of time, don't fucking come to me, don't fucking come to me anywhere near me, motherfucker, don't come to me, if you're a politician, don't even consider it, I'm gonna fucking unload on you absolutely everything I have, don't come to me, think about Kolpa River, it's like a piss, it's like a stinking piss down there, on that southern part, border of Slovenia, Yeah, no, you did not make any kind of mistakes. You got it exactly right. You got it exactly 
You got, it, you got it exactly the way you want it to. Even this video, you got it exactly the way you want it to, but I don't think it's going to help you out. Yeah, you can say, I am violent. You can say whatever the fuck you want. Let me think. Yeah, it's, it's not going to be any useful to you, really not. Stay the fuck away for your own good.